Isaiah was worshiping God in the temple when he had a vision. <gasps> Isaiah saw God sitting on a throne. God's robe filled the temple. Seraphim, heavenly beings, stood above him. They each had six wings and they called out, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. His glory fills the whole earth. Isaiah was in the presence of God. He said, I am ruined. I am sinful. I do not deserve to be in the presence of the King, the great and holy God. Then one of the seraphim flew to Isaiah. He touched Isaiah's mouth with a burning coal from the altar and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed and your sin is wiped away. Then Isaiah heard God's voice. Who should I send? Who will go for us? Isaiah said, Here I am. Send me. Go, God said. Isaiah told the people of Judah about God's plan. God was going to send the people away from Judah, but he would bring some of the people back. These people were a part of Abraham's family. God was going to keep his promise to Abraham through them. Isaiah explained that a Messiah was coming, someone who would be Israel's savior. The Messiah would be a servant who would suffer and be a sacrifice to rescue people from sin. Isaiah said there would be nothing special about God's servant. No one will notice him. People won't even like him, Isaiah said. We will see him and turn away. We will look down on him and won't care about him. But nothing would stop the servant from doing God's plan. He will carry our sickness and pains. We have disobeyed God and wandered away like lost sheep. But instead of punishing us, God will punish him. This was all God's plan all along. The suffering servant would give up his life as an offering for sin and give life to many, many people. He would take away their guilt and they would be righteous by his righteousness. And this is how God would prove that what the Messiah does has worked. He wouldn't stay dead. God would bring him back to life. Isaiah said that when God's plan happened, the Messiah would see all the good that would come from his suffering. And he would be glad he suffered. Then God would reward him with great honor. God planned all along that Jesus would die on the cross for our sin. 700 years before Jesus was born, the prophet Isaiah wrote that this would happen. Jesus is the servant who suffered so that those who trust in him would be forgiven.